Assalamu alaikum, I am Anissa. Today our group is going to present the determination of hemoglobin. Assigned by Sir Allah Baksh Bachewar. Introducing our group members. Uh, Zubia Jabbar is our group leader. Sara Fahmida, Sana Maula Baksh, Shansa Ali, Afshan Kaleri, Bibi Huba, Hadiya Nasulla and Fazila Palauj. Myself, Sana Maula Baksh, and today I am telling you about the hemoglobin. The hemoglobin is a major constituent of red cell cytoplasm, accounting for approximately 90% of dry weight of the major cells. It is comprised of heme and the globin. If I talk further, so the hemoglobin molecule is a tetramer consisting of two pairs of similar polypeptide chains, two alpha and two beta, called globin chains. And to each of the four chains is chain it attached with him, which is a complex of iron and ferrous form and protoporphyrin. And in the simple words, if I would say what is the hemoglobin, so the hemoglobin is a protein found in red cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues and organ, and then carries carbon dioxide back to the lungs to be exhaled. Thank you. I'm Shanzali and I'm going to tell you the methods of hemoglobin estimation. There are two types of methods, manual and automated. On the manual side, we have cyanamate hemoglobin method and acid hematin method. And on the automated side, we have quarter counter and SP meter. Method we used. We used the acid hematin method in which we took 20 microliter of blood along with N by 10 HCl on the reactant side and got acid hematin solution on the product side. We matched the color of the solution with the reference solution colorimeter also known as Sali's hemoglobinometer. The reagent and equipment that we basically use for this acid hematin method are seven. The first one that you need for the cleaning purpose is cotton and spirit. Then you'll need the hemoglobinometer, which is also called the Salis hemoglobinometer. In that, we have two reference strips and there is a center path space for the graduating tube. In that, we'll add our sample. So now we've got the N by 10 HCl and the hemoglobin pipette. With the help of hemoglobin pipette, we'll suck our blood and then the dropping pipette will add drop by drop of N by 10 HCl into our blood. And then we've got the stirrer to mix our blood and N by 10 HCl. My name is Hadia and I tell you the overview about the acid hematine method. Now, there's a proper procedure to do this acid hematine method. For that, you'll need the 100 microliter of HCl and 20 microliter of blood. Together, we'll stir it. Now, it's called the acid hematine. How can you read that hemoglobin value? For that, you'll need to match your color of graduating tube with those reference strips. And if your color is properly matching with those reference strips, then that's the perfect ratio. In the graduating tube, we have two types of scale. The first one is for the percentage, another is for the ml. Assalamu alaikum, I am Sara Femida, and now I am going to continue the procedure of acid hematin method. If the color of graduated tube is darker, add more N by 10 HCl. The reading in graduated tube refers to HB level in gram by deciliter. Our group member Zobia Jabbar has reading 13 gram by deciliter, which is considered normal. Let's talk about the normal ranges of hemoglobin. In female, it is 12 to 16 gram by deciliter or 7.4 to 9.9 millimole per liter. In males, it is 13 to 18 gram by deciliter or 8.1 to 11.2 millimole per liter. In pregnant women, it is decreased. In elders, it is slightly decreased or in newborns, it is increased. Decreased hemoglobin. Decreased hemoglobin includes severe hemorrhage, systemic diseases like leukemia. It is a condition in which there is increase in concentration of abnormal blood cells. Lymphoma. It is a condition in which lymph tumor originate from lymphocytes. Uremia. It is increase in concentration of urine in our blood. Cirrhosis. It is failure of liver. Hyperthyroidism. It is a condition in which there is increase in concentration of thyroid hormone. Psychinomatosis. It is a condition in which cancer cells spread from original tumor to all over the body. And systemic lupus erythromatosis. It is a condition in which our immune cells eat our healthy tissue. Hemolysis. It is breakdown of RBC. It is due to transfusion of incompatible blood, reaction to chemicals and drugs, bacteria and artificial heart valves. Anemia. It is decrease in concentration of hemoglobin in blood. 
increased hemoglobin increased hemoglobin include polycythemia it is con uh, it is condition in which there is increase in concentration of hemoglobin in our blood high altitude congestive cardiac failure ccf it is condition in which heart fails to pump blood Hemo hemo concentration states of blood like severe burns chronic obstructive pulmonary disease copd it is failure of lungs causing breathing problem myself afsha and now i am telling you about how to maintain hemoglobin levels eat iron rich foods like spinach lentils beans soaked raisins and fortified cereals consume vitamin c rich foods like citrus fruits berries kiwi tomatoes and bell peppers avoid drinking tea and coffee with meals assalamu alaikum myself azila bloch and it was all about the presentation of determination of hemoglobin thank you for your time and attention